for coming. Thank you, you for watching this video. So my name is <laughs> my name is Marlon Pedersoli. I'm a student of biomedical engineering at Inatel Telecommunication National Institute, and I'm going to talk about, talk about a, li a little bit of physics. So the first topic is therm thermodynamics and heat. The last time I left you a question: What do you think heat is? What do you think, Melissa? I don't. I don't have idea. <laughs> you don't have idea. So. The heat is the passage of hot from, from one body to another body. For example, here we have a uh, human body, it's about 36 degrees Celsius. And here we have the environment, for example, a uh, sunny day, it's about 40 Celsius, for example. So here we have the heating, the temperature getting into the body of the person. So this is what we call heat. There's a body can has heat. The heat is only the passage of hot from a body to another. So here, for example, we have a cold night, for example. Here our body is still 36 Celsius in the environment, for example, 15 Celsius. So then what happens? The opposite. opposite. The temperature gets out of your body to the environment. That's when you feel cold. And the other situation, the previous one, is when you feel hot. So then, uh, some let's see. For example, there's some there are some ways to kind of block this passage. For example, wearing jackets. Do you think that jacket makes you it produce produce a temperature? No. No, it do, it does not. It's kind of oops. Uh, What's the problem? <laughs> uh, yeah. Here. Yeah. What's the problem, Jesse? I'm not sure. What's the problem, Jesse? We are having a little technical problems here. Yeah, that's it. For example, um, in the previous situation, you are, when your body is, uh, is exposed to the environment, what happens? The falling. The heat of your body, get, yeah, the temperature of your body gets out of your body and go to the environment. It's when you're unprotected. Then, if you put some a jacket, for example, you're creating a pair here. For example, here in the other one, you see the heating goes on to the environment and now we have a bar here so then less heat go to the environment so then you feel warm so then for example a uh, sunny day as in the first situation you have all the hot hot come here to your body and we for example it's a very very hot uh, hot day in, and so if you get a jacket for example you get this part here and so you feel less hot. The opposite of what most people always think. For example, would you wear a jacket on a desert, for example? Um, the majority of people would answer that they wouldn't. But that's why, for example, people in the desert, they wear such heavy clothes. And then, uh, how much time do you have, Jesse? Uh, you have... Six minutes. Left. Six minutes. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so we are gonna talk a little about about. Uh, yeah, that's it. Classical mechanics. <laughs> so let's go. For example, we I would describe the classical mechanics on a amusement park. Is it that amusement park? The bumper cars, for example. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, yes, here we have basically two situations, cars moving in opposite directions or cars moving in the same directions. Here we have the first situation, uh, two cars going in the uh, exactly the same direction. They uh, will collide and then we can see three things, the a action and reaction. And the, car, the cars collides, the cars, uh, number one, it, makes a, um, it applies a force to the car number two and the car number two also applies a force on the car number one and then the um, forces of collusion 
it collides, it, it gets doubled. We have the sum of forces, as I told you, and this is just uh, the formula to calculate it. And we have an uh, inelastic collision, so we have the loss of energy. Oops, yes, that's it. And then we have a uh, light, like, ah, that's it called, that's why um, car crashes are so dangerous when the cars just, yeah, you know, the force the double. And then we have a light situation when a car is going to a direction and the water is going in a, a faster and hits its back. And then uh, it also happens the action reaction, but the sum force of forces is different. Different is you take the speed of the first car and you take off the speed of the other car, so that's less damaging. And we have also an elastic collision for the loss of energy. So we have here. What do we have here? <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, when the car stops it and the other one crashes him. Uh, so we have, um, it's highlighted especially the um, friction and inertia here. You, let's see, the car's crashing the water and this car, car that stopped it, it tends to be stopped. If the car who's crashing and it is in a speed higher than the force of inertia, the car, both cars will move a little. If it's not, they will just stop. And that's also the action and reaction. Everything has the action and reaction. And we, have, we can have an inelastic or elastic, elastic collision. Elastic if the two cars move a little, and elastic if they don't. And here, the last situation, we have uh, when the cars crash in a perpendicular way. So we have also the action reaction and with the combination for us a little bit different we have the um, for example we have could i have a pen here yes that's the equation to uh, cal to calculate the force yeah that's it and then we it's combined this way, and then we have a uh, elastic collision because both cars will stay together. And I think that's it. Mm, yeah, any question? Mm -hmm.